sing around with friends, playing guitar and stuff like that. And they will actually think of doing it as a profession. On stage, I'm so sorry. Stage, right?
white hair stylists ah. are seen as being gay. Come on, I'm here. In Thailand, that kind of thing happens a lot. Usually, when guys are in the hair salon, they are gay. But I think overseas, like for example, in Australia or Japan or Korea, or like that most guys are guys, real guys, mm -hmm. who are doing hairdressing, and people like recognize me as a hairdresser. They also thought I was gay, nah. and I was like, but. Who gives a shit? I don't really care, like, whatever. I don't think that should be the main point for any kind of career. So, what's your technique? I think everyone has a different style, or okay. different sense of Taste. Oh, my team, no. Mine is very simple. Before I cut everyone's hair, yeah. I would draw their face and like design the hair with my drawings first and show them, yeah, I think this, this kind of style suits you somewhere. Hey, this is like in trend right now. You know? yeah. like, for his facial structure, what, what, what hairstyle should you have? Yeah, usually people like to ask me this kind of question as well, but I'll say like, do something that you feel confident. Okay. And do something that is like, stylish. Stylish? Okay. ตั้งเดือนระหว่างที่พี่โทนี่กำลังตั้งหน้าตั้งตาออกแบบทรงผมให้โจโปรเราไปดูเซ็กชั่นอื่นสักแป๊บหนึ่งนะครับเดี๋